I'd now like to show you a feature called Fade Relief, which is here. So I'm just going to select this, and here we have the dialog box. Here you can adjust the fade strength and the fade type, and you also have options from where you would like to do the fade. So at the moment, I'm going to choose a linear fade, so it's going to go from one point to another, and I'm going to drag the crosshairs and place that on the peak of this helmet and drag the bottom down to here. You can also type in precise measurements for coordinates in X and Y here if you wish to do that. So if I create a fade now, there you can see it's going from 100% down to zero, so it's fading into nothing there. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to change the fade strength to 75. So what it will do, it will, it will take off nothing here and then fade down to just 25% here because it's taking off 75% of this side of the relief, this part of the relief. So if I create that, then you can see it's left 25% of the relief sticking up there. So I'll undo that, and this time I'll just set this back to 100%, and I'm going to use a radial this time, and I'm going to set this at precise coordinates. So I'll set it at 0, 0, which is my center. For this, you need to select a vector. What this will do, it will leave 100% here, and then fade outwards to nothing on this boundary here so I'll just create that and there we have the relief going from 100% down to nothing here I'll undo that and this time I'm going to drag the crosshairs to here so it will do a fade relief from this point and then stem outwards radially so if I just create that there now you can see it's 100% there and then it's fading outwards from there. So I'll undo that again. Now I'm going to create a relief between boundaries. Here you can see I've created a rectangle somewhere near the center and I'm going to select between boundaries and select my two vectors. Click create and it will fade between the two boundaries. So there, that's fading between the inside rectangle and the outside vector. So that's the Fade Relief tool. I hope you find it useful. Bye.